Sometimes I'd stay up for days trying hard to get away from all the things that clouded my head. There were screaming demons in my dreams every time. All right, it is September 22nd, and uh, I'm back out here at these rack one corn piles, and you can see right behind me. That one that I put the protein bar in, completely gone. Uh, the pile that I put the pour on attractant on, the uh, corn boost, there's still some corn there, but it, it didn't get devoured like the one that I put that protein bar on. So right now, the protein bar seems like uh, it's winning. Now, it's so the that was the 16th, so six days ago, I think, if my math is right, um, I put these out here, just changed the... Uh, cards out in five different cameras back on this side of the farm so really hoping i mean i can smell it right now i mean you can smell it just smells great so more than likely that uh rack one pulled these deer in the same night that i put that corn on the ground so really excited to see what intel we got on this side of the farm we're gonna hike out of here um and go pull cards fill the feeder on the other side of the farm and then i'm going out to some public land and to meet up with matt and we're going to uh try our luck again on public tonight so wish us luck all right so i don't know if i just uh totally spoiled the deer with that rack one but this is the first time since i started feeding this season that i've came out here and this feeder is not completely empty and it holds 350 pounds of corn um I barely got a 50 pound bag in there. I brought 250 pounds with me. So there's now 200 pounds of corn on the ground. Um, the only reason why I did that is from here, I'm headed out to some public land and I'm not gonna be sitting out on public land and have my truck sitting there with the whole bed full of corn and game warden roll up because we all know we can't, we can't feed on public land. So I didn't wanna take a chance. So I just threw the corn on the ground uh, I'm thinking more than likely that these deer are now getting into acorns as the acorns are starting to drop off these oaks and this place just is covered up in oak trees. Uh, all kinds of different varieties of acorns for these for these deer to get onto. And it's about that time of year that they kind of move off this corn and these corn supplements and get into the oaks. So, um, which where I was just at on the other side, that whole area has got persimmons and oaks all over the place. I don't see a lot of persimmons this year, um, but the oaks are, are already starting to drop. So should have filmed that, but I didn't. Um, but I did drop a one bag of corn smack right in front of that camera. And they're just little small, small bags. And it was completely devoured. But one of two things happened. Either rack one spoiled the deer and they don't like my regular corn no more, or they've moved off corn and they're hitting these oaks. So guys i'm gonna wrap up here and make the uh i don't know 45 minute to an hour drive out to some public land meet up with matt here at 3 30 and then we're hiking in for an evening sit
Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Keenan back with you from Deer 30. Um, I got a buddy of mine. We're out here. Uh, we're hunting in a ground blind this evening. Today is September the 23rd, so we're getting close to October. Uh, trying to catch them on a feeding pattern. I got a pretty decent wind to sit this spot, but uh, we had a major cold front move in last night and into today. The high today was only like 65, 70 degrees. This morning was 45 degrees, and then tonight it's supposed to get cold again after, you know, once the sun starts going down, so. Uh, we're sitting this ground blind. I got corn out of here in front of me about 20 yards, but it's in this cut. So, with that being said, uh, pressure is high, and uh, it's cold, cooler, it's cooling down. And uh, I got a decent win, so we're gonna sit, see what happens. I still got that. I still got a pretty decent eight point on this property. Uh, be more than willing to let Jared shoot that. And uh, if I get any singles to come in, any does or anything, I'm I'm more than welcome or more than happy to uh, shoot one of them. So we're we're trying to knock a, a notch off tonight, and y'all just hang out. I'll get back at you. He did. That's a good shot. Heck yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I just shot a doe uh, out of this cut. It worked perfectly. Had uh, two yearlings come in, and they brought uh, they brought their mama in, and uh, she stepped out. I was trying. You'll see the video. I'm sure you're watching it right now. But uh, I was gonna shoot her at 25 or 20. I was gonna shoot her at 20 and uh she was straight on i couldn't get a shot i could have maybe threaded the needle but i didn't feel comfortable taking that shot um so i was waiting for her to go broadside when she finally stepped out and one of the pawns got in the way and i couldn't shoot her broadside at 20 25 so i had to let her go on out to about 30 and i ended up shooting her at 31 she was quartered two just a little bit but i i feel really confident i mean i punched it i freaking punched her her pump house and uh it sounded good it looked good uh i feel good about it so we're gonna let her lay uh, i got jared in here with me and i still got a real nice eight point that's running around on this property and uh we're gonna see if he might might come in and give jared a shot or maybe another doe or something uh but it's a success we uh we shot one so hopefully hopefully she's not too far and be easy i can get the truck into this cut so Hopefully a 20, 30, 40 yard drag and, and we're done. Uh, but it worked. So y'all just hang out and stay with us and I'll get back at you. There she is, buddy. There she be, buddy. Big old doe. Smoke. She went to the worst place possible, didn't she? Yeah. She didn't make it far. She make it what? Forty yards? It's Not bad. even. Thirty-five, forty yards. I want to see that entry shot. There's her. There's the other side. I can't believe it got her down in it. I can't believe it either. I mean, she was quartering. She was good. quartering pretty good. Well, good. Hey, guys, I appreciate y'all being here with us tonight. It's been an extremely fun hunt. This is the first time me and Jared has actually killed something together, and we've been sitting a few times this year with work. We're working together now, and it just means everything to hunt with your friends and family and everything, and this is what it's all about. So 
I'm super happy. It was a good shot, clean shot. She didn't make it 30, 40 yards, maybe. As you all know, this is when the work begins. We gotta get her out, get her in the truck, you know, call her in, get her worked up. So it's gonna be a long night. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all just stay with us and remember, wake up and hunt.